You might wonder why I'm walking down this cozy tree-lined street in the east end of Toronto in sub-zero temperatures. Am I crazy? Maybe. But behind me is the home of one Luke Hoskin, the latest addition to the Ibanez family. No, he's not a baby. He's a grown man. He's currently unemployed, but that didn't stop Ibanez from making him his own signature guitar. Let's go meet him. I'm Glenn Stan, and this is Guitar Street. Come on in. Glenn Stan. Oh, hi. Guitar Street. Luke, nice to meet you. In a minute. Uh, bathroom? Oh, the bathroom's upstairs. Luke's house is a lot smaller than I expected, but it's extremely clean and decorated with a minimalist female touch. Wow, beautiful place here. Who's this little guy? Oh, that's uh, that's an image of my cat. And wow, is this your wife? She's beautiful. No, that's my girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Fiance? Uh, no. So technically, she's single. Uh, you two as well? Uh, no, that's a novelty card with squirrels on it. <laughs> Hints of an open relationship filled the air, and I began to question Luke's commitment. That is until he showed me his guitars. His allegiance to Ibanez is undeniable, and the axes in his collection have inspired his first signature model. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's actually uh, the guitar that... Uh... Yeah, this, I've seen these before. Show me how it works, how does, what is that? Luke's vacuum is cord-free and rechargeable. It comes with attachments that are designed for precise cleaning around edges and narrow gaps. It's lightweight, and in my professional opinion, it's incredibly ergonomic. On a couch? Wow. We sat down, and I was sure to thank Luke for the house tour. Thank you for the house tour. Oh, no problem. It was a lot of fun. Let's talk about the guitar. How did you design it? Well, uh, I played Ibanez guitars for many years. Um, so I've had the privilege of checking out quite a few models. I have a bunch. And I started to pick and choose the specs from each guitar that I liked. And I've learned over the years to try to keep it a little more simple because I want to worry about what I'm playing live, not what the guitar is doing. So this is the result. So I'm looking at the fingerboard. Why so many frets? A lot of people like 22 frets. I've always preferred 24, just because it's what I've always played and I'm terrified of change. So the frets jumbo, of course. Don't really need to talk about that. No. No. Fair enough. The color, it's remarkable. Tell me about that. A few years ago, I started to go through a really big um, gradient phase. Turns out it wasn't a phase though. I just uh, haven't grown out of it. I love the look of gradients, and green happens to be my favorite color. So I wanted to get every shade of green possible on a guitar that we could. And I think uh, they've done a pretty nice job. My favorite color is gray. That makes sense. Now what I'd like to see, and certainly what everyone else would like to see, is a demo. How about it? Yeah, let's go plug it in. Uh, I'm just gonna use the bathroom again upstairs? Yep, it's up there. Right. Same spot you used it last time. Tell me about the fret markers. I noticed there's some there, some over there, all over the place. What's the reason behind that? Well, actually they're positioned in the spot that most guitars would have them positioned. Uh, the only difference maybe with mine is that they're gold uh, to match the hardware. Right. And up top we have uh, what are called lumen lay, top inlays, mm. 
and you can charge them with a light and they'll glow while you're on stage. <clears throat> so what kind of wood is this baby made of? Uh, well, the top is flamed maple and the back is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me guess. I know my woods. Is it oak? No. Cedar? Nope. Maple? No. Pine? Nope. Naughty pine? No. Is it ash? No. Beech? Nope. Birch? Nope. Teak? Nope. Walnut? No. Can I smell it? Sure, you can smell it. Sensing Indonesian tones. Is it Nyoto? I'm impressed. I know my woods. Fingerboard is beautiful. What's it made of? It is made of ebony, um, which is a lot like maple in that it's bright and snappy, but I prefer the look of ebony, this dark look. Fascinating. Tell me more. So let's talk about these pickups. Are they Fishman pickups? Yeah, these are Fishman pickups. Uh, they're active, which is new for me, but I love the way they sound. So I guess you could say that you've gone Fishman. Yep, you could say that. You could say you're a Fishman's friend. I don't see your hole. I love the J Custom series of Ibanez guitars, the very expensive hand-built ones. They always used a jack that was different from any of the other Ibanez models. Normally there'd be a jack here or there'd be a jack in the bottom, but these guys have a jack angled at the side. Oh. It's in the side on an angle. Yeah. Groundbreaking. Yeah, so when you plug it in, if you're wearing a strap, you pull it through the strap and just put it right in. It stays out of your way. You don't have to worry about stepping on it and pulling it out of the bottom. It's protected. So a lot of other jacks get wiggly because you hit um, your cable. This one, you don't. Sometimes I'm jamming pretty hard. Lots of heavy bends. Sometimes my strings go to tune. How do you tune this bad boy? Uh, these are Goto locking tuners, which makes uh, restringing a breeze. So you would really appreciate that. Um, and uh, it's, we have a string through body, which is nice for sustain. Um, I use that on a few other Ibanez guitars and fell in love with it. Same with the tuners. Uh, so can we talk about your knob? Sure. Uh, my knob is the only knob on this guitar because I had a tone knob that I never used and was only worried about it not being all the way up. So we thought, Let's get rid of that. One less thing to worry about. Uh, my knob also pulls out, and when it does, you get a more vintage voicing of the Fishman pickups, which is nice. My knob does not pull out. That's why I have five children. <laughs> That was amazing, Luke. Thanks. Thanks, Glenn. So as you may or may not know, every guitar street ends with a jam. Where can I plug this bad boy in? 
I caught Luke a bit off guard and could sense his intimidation. Glenn, I don't think there's going to be a jam today. So we rescheduled the jam for another day. Maybe another day? Probably not. Ever. Okay, I am Glenn Stan. When you're walking the guitar beat, you never know who you're going to meet. On Guitar Street. On Guitar Street. Leave.